Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. And welcome. Okay, we are ready to start now. Just waiting for the rest of the class. I hope that you feel in a good condition in order to have this class today and uh, that you can participate. Welcome, Cesar, Don Jorge. Roberto Carlos, Luis Ernesto, Don Miguel, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, okay. Okay, let me see how many people do we have. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Edwin. Hola. Hola. 
escuché el audio, no se le escucha del todo bien. Teniendo problemas de micrófono. Good afternoon, teacher. Good evening. Ay, perdón. <laughs> no, dime. <laughs> Ando desorientada en la hora. No, no, ya vi, ya vi. Ya vi. Okay, let, let me test my microphone now. Tell me how can you hear my voice better? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Excellent. Better. Okay, it's better. Okay, genetic USB, USB, USB. Okay, let me try to do something. Bueno, veamos si pudimos actualizar las actividades. Veamos. Ok, ya tenemos la lista. But first of all, I need to check up. If all of you complete all the exercises that we have in the platform. Don Alcide, Don Alcide, no está faltando de la semana 2. Luego, ¿quién más? Bueno, Héctor, Héctor ya no se ha conectado. Don Oliver, Don Oliver, la segunda semana, Don Oliver, todavía nos falta. Roberto Carlos y René ya están. Ok, solo me faltan dos. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, ya podemos actualizar las notas. Pero ahorita vamos a la asistencia. Ok, got it here. Ok, before that, let me check up how many people do I have now. Alexander uh, is there, Miguel Abrego también. I got only 12, tengo 12. Okay, I need to give a little more time in order that all of you can connect and start at the same time getting the class. Veamos quién más llegó. Llegó Don Luis Ernesto. Okay, Farima is here. Jorge. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, Fatima. ¿Cómo está? How do you feel today? I'm fine, teacher. Okay. Um, sleep. You are fine. Okay. Happy. Yes. Ah, okay. What about you, Katy Briseida? Why are you so serious today? ¿Por qué está tan seria, Katy? Mm -hmm. no. Smile, smile. Yes. Okay, maybe a lot of work to do today. Quizás tuvo mucho trabajo que hacer el día de hoy. Ah, okay. Don Roberto Carlos, a pleasure to say hello to you, my friend. Well, hello, teacher. Okay, welcome, sir. Evelyn, Evelyn, how do you feel? How do you feel, Evelyn? Better? Better, teacher. 
Okay, okay, better and ready for the class. Okay, welcome, Luis Ernesto. Hello, Luis. Are you there, Luis? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, Luis. Hello, Herman. Hi. Hello, Don Noé Abraham. Ready. Ready. Ready, ready, teacher. Oh, okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Carlos, Roberto, welcome. Miguel, Miguel, hello, Miguel. How do you feel today, Miguel? Hello, hello. What about you, Alcides Dagoberto? How do you feel today? Why are you so shy? ¿Por qué estás tan tímido, tan callado hoy? Somebody, no. somebody is watching you. Ah, ajá, hay alguien que lo está mirando, quizá. Todavía <laughs> de eso del domingo que ganó el Fatis. Ah, man. Okay. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Se hirieron susceptibilidades. <laughs> bueno, tra tranquilos que ya viene el mundial. Yes. Disfruten el mundial. Yes, teacher. Okay. Win Brazil, win Brazil, teacher. Okay, the winner is going to be Brazil. Do you think that? Okay. Uh, no, no. Okay, oh, oh, Edwin, Edwin, Edwin. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite? Edwin. Uh, Who's the winner for Argentina. you? Argentina. Argentina, okay. Bueno, ahí está. Hagan sus mejores apuestas, señores. Si las pueden hacer con Bitcoin, no hay problema. We are the champion teacher with ah, Brazil. Ah, oh, okay, okay. La verde, la, la verde amarela. Ahí está. Bueno, vamos a ver qué sucede. Okay, creo que sí vamos a pasar la lista. Ya tengo 14. Los demás se agregan cuando el tiempo les permita. Okay, Alcides de Roberto García. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Ok, uh, César Vladimir. Present. Ok, uh, Edwin Napoleón. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, eh, Evelyn Yamilet. Evelyn Yamilet. No here. Ok, Evelyn Yesenia Rivas. Present teacher. Ok, welcome. I hope that you feel better today. Eh, Fátima Beatriz. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Germán Reinaldo. Present teacher. Ok, uh, Guillermo Alepsis. Guillermo Alepsis. Guille, Guille. Héctor Iván. No, eh, Jennifer de la Cruz. No. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, sure. Katy. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Luis Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Noé Abraham. Present teacher. Bueno, ahí nos faltó Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Bueno, ahí está, me fijé, me fijé. Don Oliver. Don Oliver. René Alexander. Good evening, present teacher. Good evening, sir. Welcome, Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. Okay, and William Boris. William Boris. Now here, William Boris. Okay, let us start with the class today. We are going to talk about a new topic that is related with the previous one. And I hope that all of you can understand exactly what I'm going to explain you in English. 
but also I'm going to switch into Spanish not that you can understand it better. Okay, let me start with the topic. I'm going to uh, present you my slides. Okay, let me share with you. Here we go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, say so how to use input present information. Question. This is the topic. How to use simple present information questions. That is the topic. This is class number 12. La clase numero 12. And in order to start talking about this topic, let me introduce a reading in order that all of you can uh, interact with each other. Okay, I got a reading here. Tengo una lectura corta aquí. And I invite you to read it by yourself. Invito a que lea cada uno eh, esto para luego eh, yo iniciar leyendo. Lea, 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 por favor. Okay, I'm going to read it for you. Okay, John Werner works at Walmart. He works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He works with his friends Alma. Alma and John take the bus to work together in the morning. They catch the bus at 7.15. The bus stop is one block from John's house. They were at the Walmart in Marlboro Mall. John is a cashier, Al Alma works in the stop room. John is taking a course. He will be finished in November. Listen this word, not finished yet, no, finished in November. Then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. John is excited. Ojo con esa palabra, no tiene nada que ver con el parecido en español. Se los explico por qué. Como nosotros asociamos entonces, pero no, ahí no dice que John está excitado, no. Emocionado. Emocionado, correcto. Sí. Ok, any question? Any, que any question? Any question? Okay, ahora micrófono solo quien va a hacer una pregunta, por favor. Acuérdense que está, algunos estamos con uh, handsets y sentimos el sonido así como muy fuerte. Good okay. evening, teacher. Okay, good evening, Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer is there. Jennifer is coming. Ajá, uh -huh, Jennifer. Hello, hello. Ajá, uh -huh. bueno, como es, como es de lejos, por eso la dejamos entrar tarde. Desde San Miguel llegando para acá. <laughs> y yo estoy en el cantón de mi mamá. Wow, where, where is that? ¿Dónde es eso? 
en Aguasarca. Wow, Aguasarca. Uh, Riverside. Ah, Riverside, ajá, ajá. Riverside, ok. Esa es la parte, ¿qué? La parte norte de San Miguel. Yes. Ah, ok. Ok, perfecto. Ok, I'm going to read again. John wears at Walmart. He wears from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He wears with his friends Alma. Alma and John take the bus to work together in the morning. They catch the bus at 7.15. The bus stop is one uh, block from John's house. They work at the Walmart in Marlborough Mall. John is a cashier. Alma works in the stop room. John is taking a course. He will be finished in November. Then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. John is excited. Okay, who wants to read it? Un voluntario que quiera leer. Con esto iniciamos nuestro tema de hoy. So only one. No, yeah. no more than one. Only, only one. Only one. Please raise your hand if you want to read it. This is one word. Okay, okay, okay. Don, don Noé va primero y después sigue Farima Beatriz. I'm sorry, Farima. Don Noé levantó primero. Okay, okay. Okay, okay Don Noé. John Ward at the Walmart. Okay, he okay, me, okay, hold on. Repítame, por favor. John Ward at the Walmart. Okay, 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 okay. Le vamos a explicar así. Bueno, con mis estudiantes de bachillerato les digo, cuando sea tercera persona le vamos a poner eh, spray. Vamos a hablar con spray. Y cuando no sea tercera persona en forma de rolón, entonces aquí John Wears at, wears at Walmart. He wears from a.m. to 5 p.m. Ok, no olvidemos las S. Yes. Comience, por favor, otra vez. John works at the Walmart. He works from a in 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 to 5 p.m. He works with his friends. Alma, Alma and John take the bus to the world together in the morning. They catch the bus at 7.15. The bus stock is one block from John's house. They work at the Walmart in... Esta palabra no mucho, este ya. Ma, marble, Marboro, Mall. Marboro Mall. John is, John is a cashier. Alma works in the stat room. John is taking a course. He will be finished in November. Then he will, then he will be from a, esta palabra también. Promote it. Promote it. Promote it to a cashier. Supervisor. John is excited. Okay. He, he, then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. John is excited. Okay. Thank you, Farima. Then, después sigue Don Roberto Carlos. Yes. John works at Walmart. He works from 8 a.m. To 5 p.m. He works with his friend Alma. Alma and John talk they bus to work together in the morning. They catch the bus and at 7.15. They bus stop is one block from John's house. They work on the Walmart in Marlboro Mall. John is cashier. Alma work is the stock room. John is takes a course. He will be finished in November. Then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. Who is excited? Okay, mira, hay algunas palabritas mm -hmm. que no podemos obviarlas. 
siempre okay. tenemos, por ejemplo, John is a cashier. John is a, a cashier. cashier. Ok, John is a. John cashier. is a. A cashier. Ca a cashier, all my words in the, the start run. John is taking a car. He will be finished in November. I already. Uh, he will be finished in November. Yeah, see, finished. No finished. No existe eso. Finished okay. in okay. November. Then, then, then he will promote it to a cashier supervisor. John is excited. Ahora sí se lo voy a leer ya la tercera semana. Se lo voy a leer un poquito más rápido. No para que ustedes lo hagan así, sino para ir ya modificando su, su, su oído, ¿no? Luego siguen leyendo, por favor, don Roberto. ¿Y quién sigue? Dice, John Swartz at Walmart. He works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He works with his friends Alma. Alma and John tend the bus to work together in the morning. They catch the bus at 7.15. The bus stop is one block from John's house. They work at the Walmart in Marlborough Mall. John is a cashier. Alma works in the stop room. John is uh, taking a course. He will be finished in November. Then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. John is excited. Okay, continue, Don Roberto. Okay. John works at Walmart. He works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He works with his friend Alma. Alma and John take the bus to work together in the morning. They catch the bus at 7.15. The bus stop is one block from John's house. They work at the wall in Marlboro Mall. John is a cashier. Alma works in the stock room. John is taking a course. He will be finished in November. Then he will be promoted to cashier, supervisor. John is excited. Okay, thank you. Continue, Jennifer. Jennifer Ventura. John works at Walmart. He works from 8 um, to 5 p.m. He works with his friends Alma. Alma and John takes the bus to work together in the morning. They catch the bus at 7 feet. Sixteen. Okay, so the bus stop. The bus stop is one block from John's house the works and the walmart in Mal marlboro mall john is cashier alma works in the stock room john is talking a course he will be finished he november in november then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor, John is excited. Excited, excited. Excited. Sí, y la palabra aquí es bus, the bus, bus. The, the bus, bus. stop. Okay. Bus stop. The bus stop. Okay, perfecto, gracias. Thank you, Evelyn Saravia. Hi, teacher. <laughs> John works at Walmart. He works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. He works with his friend Alma. Alma and John take the bus to work together in the morning. They catch the bus at 7.15. The bus stop is one block from John's house they were at the Walmart in Marlboro Mall Mall John is cashier Alma works in the stop room John is taking a course he will be finished in November that he will be promoted to cashier supervisor John is in, is, is, I don't know. <laughs> excited, excited. Excited. 
Sí, la otra palabra aquí es chorus. Johnny John, John is taking a course. Taking a course. Taking a course. Yeah, taking a course. In course. Yeah, taking a course. Course. <laughs> okay, okay, perfecto. Course. Y la última para pasar a la siguiente actividad sería Evelyn Yesenia Rivas. Y eh, bueno, con ella concluimos y pasamos a la siguiente. Los demás tendrán oportunidad de participar en las demás actividades. Okay, go ahead, Yesenia. Thank you, teacher. John works at Walmart. He works from a.m. A. M. to 5 p.m. He works with his friend Alma. Alma and John take the bus to work together in the morning. They catch the bus at 7.15. Uh, the bus stops in one block from John's house. They work at the Walmart in Marlboro's Mall. John is a cashier. Alma works in the stock room. John is taking take a course. He will be finished in November. Then he will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. John is ex excited. John is excited. Okay, uh, let us continue then with this activity. Uh, try to remember all the information that we have uh, here. Based on this, we are going to answer the following question. Okay, take a look at this. Okay, the first question said, where does John work? Do you remember? Where does John work? Okay, I'm going to give you... Work. Well, 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 okay. Work. Okay, okay, respuesta completa quiero. Alguien por ahí que me la dé. He works in Walmart. He where? Works in, in Walmart. In the Walmart, okay. In the Walmart. Okay, second one, where does, when does John work? When does John work? When, ya vimos qué significa when does, when does John work? ¿Qué significa when? Cuando. Ah, ok, cuando, cuando es que trabaja, pues. He, he works eh, a and a, 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 a m at 5 p.m. every day. Ah, ok, podría ser. No, the third one, who does John work with? Ok, ok, modulemos por favor el sonido, por favor. He ah. works with his friend's Alma. Ah, ok, he works with uh, his friend Alma, ok. Next one, alguien más me responde, when do they catch the bus? When do they catch the bus? Sí. When do they catch the bus? Cuando, cuando, cuando atrapan, agarran el bus, toman el bus. Seven fifteen. Ajá, pero dónde, dónde? Bueno, eso sería otra pregunta. Where, where is the Walmart? Where is the Walmart? Where is the Walmart? It's in the Marlboro Mall. Okay. Uh, who works in the stop room? Who works in the stop room? ¿Quién? Alma. <laughs> Your friend Alma. My friend Alma? Sí. Your... Alma. O oh, her, her friend Alma. Ah. Her friend Alma. Ahí está. Sí, pero no podía decir este. Your friend Alma, no.
Okay, the next question is, um, what is John excited about? ¿Por qué está emocionado, John? What is John excited about? ¿Alguien me responde, por favor? Because he stay the course. Because as an uh, supervisor. Mm. Because because she's promote a supervisor. Uh, cont mm -hmm. I'm going to go back in order that you can see. He will be promoted to a cashier supervisor. That is the reason why he is excited, you know, because uh, his promotion. That is the reason why. And the last one, what, what is Alma's job? But what is Alma's job? Tell me, what do you remember about? ¿Qué recuerdan? What is Alma's job? She's a stop room. Stop room. Mm, Alma wears in the stop room. Okay. Okay, thank you. Well, I guess it's enough on this topic. Okay, let us start talking about activity number one. Let's start asking classmates about the duties they had to perform at their workplace and share. That means that we are going to create breakout room in order that all of you can uh, share ideas about that. Okay, aquí vamos a hacer breakout room eh, y usted va a compartir con la persona que le corresponda eh, algunas, algunas actividades que usted hace en su trabajo. ¿Sí? About some, the duties that they had to perform at the workplace. Esas duties son como las obligaciones que usted tiene en su trabajo. Okay. Let me see how many people I have now. Tenemos un, algo en el chat. Present to teacher, dice Evelyn Sarabia. Okay. Lo habíamos visto. Tenemos 16 personas. Hacemos. Eh, let me see how many. I'm going to do it. Uh, serían 8 por 2, 16. Voy a crearlo. Eh, sí, ya lo tengo. Let me see the time that I'm going to assign you. Okay, what you are going to do is just try to keep in mind what the, uh, the person that is going to be with you are going to tell you. Lo que vamos a hacer es tratar de recordar lo que la otra persona nos diga, qué obligaciones tiene en su trabajo que hacer, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, usted dice, okay, uh, Mario is a mechanic. Ah, okay. And his duties are, yeah, y sus obligaciones son, okay. Okay, first clean the body shop. Primero tiene que limpiar eh, el taller. Ah, okay. Así de esa forma me va a ir diciendo usted, pero va a hablar con su compañero ahorita mismo. Les llevo la invitación, por favor, accept it. Accept my invitation and go to the breakout room and, and start talking about. Por favor, no sé que nadie, tratemos de unirnos todos. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it now, please. Do it now, please. <clears throat>
Okay, Don Herman, what happened? Hi, teacher. Finish the, 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 the interview the, with uh, Roberto Carlos. Okay, okay. That means that you already know the information and you are going to share with the rest of the class, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, let me see. Cesar is there. Fatima is there. Herman too. Jennifer. Okay, we need to wait for the rest. Hold on a second, please. And wait for the rest. They are coming. They are coming. <clears throat> Teacher, excuse me. Hello, my senior Miss Sala, teacher. Okay, uh, no ingreso nadie. No. Estoy esperando. Estoy esperando para nada. Y no presionó el, el botón de help. No, no me puse a hacerlo. Uh, las obligaciones de las mías, se puede decir, entonces. Ok. Ok, thank you. Uh, let us see what you have. Who wants to share the info? ¿Quién quiere compartir la información? Ok, recuerden que ustedes van a, a compartir la información de su compañero o su compañera. Ok, don Jorge Alberto, tell us, please, what do you have? Thank you, teacher. Uh... Yo voy a compartir sobre de la subvención de Katy Hernández. Ok, chavas. Eh, Katy, eh, she is a bookkeeper. And is their obligation are some, is, perdón, uh, are one complete quit legal payment. Uh, two, number two is quit accounting book a day. And in elaboration for a salary. The payroll, the payroll. The payroll. Oh, yes. Sí, la elaboración de la planilla. Yes. Okay, it's called yes. pay, payroll. 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 Okay, thank you. Somebody else. Roberto Carlos. Okay, teacher. Uh, I thought with my classmate Herman, he's he is a business advisor. Your main duties are first, main report, visit company, and have a meetings. Only three. Leame el inicio de esto. Micrófono, micrófono. Okay, thank you. I'm told with my classmate, Herman. Okay, okay, continue. He is a business advisor. Okay. 
And your main duties are first, uh, make reports, visit company, and have a meeting. <laughs> Ok, sí, porque al inicio no le oí que me dijo his duties, sino your duties. Tengo un oído así como sharp, you know. Biónico. Sí, pero, pero lo que me gustó es que se corrigió ya después. Y yo creo que, okay. cayó, yo creo que cayó en cuenta. Sí, sí. Ah, ok, perfecto, me gusta. Ok, thank you very much. Thank Eve you. Evelyn Yesenia. Sí. He's no Abraham. Okay, hold He's on. Ho a... Okay, hold on, hold on. Repeat again. He's no Abraham. Okay. He's a civil engineer. Civil he in... works in he works in Fovial. Okay. He he do this are he do this are supervisors the work. Check the quality of the word, prepare word report. Okay. Okay, excellent. Uh, I don't know if, <laughs> if, 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 if he works as an engineer, civil engineer, uh, maybe mm -hmm. building or repairing roads, sometimes mm -hmm. has to test the kind of uh, Asphalt that they put on. Algunas veces, bueno, los que hacen el testeo son otros quizás, ¿verdad? Hay unos que están en laboratorio y hacen análisis de suelos y todo eso. Bueno, ok. Ed, Edwin. Ok, ok, ok. Continue, continue. Edwin hace lo, los análisis de suelo. Ah, ok, pues sí. sí. Eso, eso está bien. Bueno. Eh, cheese, Evelyn Yesenia. Eh, She is a nurse. Uh, her dad is her duties. Is. Uh, she has, no, primer, number one. She sees, she sees parents. She has to the doctor in surgery. Surgeries, okay, minor surgeries. Ajá, uh -huh. y otro que she support surgeries only. Ok, ahí solo algo. Si las características que vamos a mencionar son varias, entonces va a decir usted her duties are her duties are are, are sí, porque como okay. son varias uh -huh. Sí, ok. okay her thank. duties are Ok, y comienza mencionando cuáles son sus obligaciones. Ok. Ok, thank you very much, somebody else. The last one, because we need to start another part of the, the session. Bueno, si ya no tenemos, vamos a seguir porque tenemos algunas cositas más que hacer. Ok. Um, let us continue talking about this. This one, okay. I need to share with you a, a pressy presentation. Okay, hold on a second. Let me show you. Okay, hold on a little bit, please. Ah, okay. In this time, we are going to talk a little bit about some sports. Ya les digo por qué vamos a, a hablar de deportes. Okay, let me show you here. I'm going to get bigger this one. No sé si se logra mirar. Okay, por ahí la tenemos. 
Uh, in previous classes, I read, uh, I told you that uh, in the future, I will show you some activities like a sport uh, and how we are going to use it with different birds. Me recuerdo que les dije en un momento que en el futuro les diría cómo se usan la parte de los deportes. Algunos van con do, otros van con play, otros van con go. En este caso, si alguien eh, practica karate, dice I do karate, sí. I do judo, I do taekwondo, I do kung fu, uh, I do athletics, acrobatics, uh, aerobics, ballet, exercise, yoga, archery, tai chi. Todo lo que tiene que ver con uh, martial arts va con do. Ahora, ¿qué es lo que yo juego? Play, basketball, baseball, tennis, golf, volleyball, football, soccer. Generalmente, play va en todos los deportes donde hay una bola. ¿Sí? Pero también está el chess, uh, cricket, board game, hockey, badminton. Luego, los que van con go, sería go swimming, go hiking, go running, go fishing, uh, go bowling. Go skin. Eh, horse riding. Snot birding. Uh, Staking and cycling. Esos serían los que van con go. Es decir, uh, uh, tenemos tres categorías. Tres categorías. Bueno, por ahí pueden hacer una captura. Para... Uh, Para que aumenten su vocabulario, por favor. Okay, if you, uh, for example, uh, let me ask you this. If you practice ballet, how you are going to say? ¿Cómo dirías si usted practica ballet? I do ballet. Ah, okay, perfecto, así es. Uh, if you practice um, cycling? I go cycling. I go, I cycling. go cycling. Okay. If you practice Tai Chi. I do Tai Chi. I do Tai Chi. Okay. I do Tai Chi. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Let, let, let her read it. Karate. Karate. Judo. Karate. karate. Judo. I do Karate. Okay. Taekwondo. 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 Okay. okay, Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Athletic. Athletic. Acrobatics. Acrobatics. Or acrobatic, acrobatic, if you want to say in that way. I, aerobics. Aerobics. Ballet. Ballet. Exercise. Exercise. Yoga. Yoga. Archery. 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 Tai Chi. Tai Chi. Tai Chi. Okay, basketball. Basketball. Baseball. Baseball. Tennis. 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 
Okay, go. Go. Volleyball. 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 Football. Football. Soccer. 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 Chess. 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 Cricket. Cricket. Board games. Board games. Hockey. 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 Badminton. Badminton. Okay, swimming. 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 Hiking. 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 Running. Running. Fishing. Fishing. Bowling. Bowling. Skiing. Skiing. Horse riding. Horse riding. riding. Snowboarding. 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 Okay. Uh, staking, staking, taking, taking, cycling, 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 staking, 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 Staking es como las apuestas que usted hace cuando va a ver horse riding. Ok. Sí, o puede ser una apuesta que en una pista de, de así como el jabalí o algo así. Ok. Donde when, hay... I, uh, teacher, when I say, for example, uh, go to the gym is correct. Uh, the activity uh, go to the gym is go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Go to play or do is go. Go to the gym. Yes. Okay. Because we, we go to the gym. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have another conversation here. Okay. Let me get close. Okay. Listen and perhaps. Uh, okay. I'm going to start. I, okay. Hold on. I need. Hold on. Hold on a second. Okay, hold on a second because I need to share with you. Um, necesito compartir con audio para que puedan oír la conversación. Hold on, hold on a second, please. Vamos a compartir con audio. Okay, me dicen si pueden oír. Page 64, exercise 2, conversation. I love sports. ¿Pueden oír? ¿Sí o no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, pay attention. Pay attention, please. Page 64, exercise 2, conversation. I love sports. Listen and practice. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, I need to go back again. Page 64, exercise 2, conversation. I love sports. Listen and practice. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? My favorites are hockey, 
baseball and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Okay, and any question? I, I need you, that you pay attention in the way they pronounce the words. Necesito que le pongamos atención de cómo se pronuncia. Eh, por ejemplo, uh, en la primera línea donde le dice so, Justin. ¿Será que, será que dice what do, you, what do you do o dice diferente? Hay un cierto pronunciado que no es igual a pronunciar como usted está mencionando. What oh. do you do? Ok, dice what do you do? What do you do? Ok, sí. What do you do in your free time? Sí, así lo dice. Well, uh, uh, dice, well, I love sport, really. What sport do you like? My favorite are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you are a really good athlete. When, when do you play all this sport? I, I, don't, I don't play this sport. No se oye que dice, I don't. I, I don't play this sport. What do you mean? I just watch then on TV. Ok, listen again. Y varias personas me han preguntado y me dicen, mire, ¿por qué pronuncia como que si es R? American do that. Ok, otra vez. Póngale asunto, por favor. Page 64, exercise 2, conversation. I love sports. Listen and practice. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Okay, oímos bien. What did you do? What did you what do? Did you do? What, did you do? What, did you do? what did you do? What did you do? No, 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 no. Me, what, me did están... you... what did you do? No, me están what confundiendo. Did you do? What did what you do? You... <laughs> es más complicado decirlo ya con la R, ¿cierto? What did you do? Ay, que dice, what did you do? Y no... No what, do you, what do you do? Sino que what do you do? What do you do? Sí. Ok, ok, ok. Le explico así, en forma breve, simple y sencilla. Eh, al momento que nosotros hablamos con un americano, el sonido se oye distinto, se oye más corto, ¿no? Entonces, a eso es que queremos llegar, que usted aprenda las dos formas. Pero ya más adelante en niveles avanzados, it's going to be better to say, what do you do in your free time? Instead of say, what do you do in your free time? Even though the both of them are, are right. Okay, I'm going to play again. Pay attention. And then you are going to perform the conversation. Page 64, exercise 2, conversation. I love sports. Okay, I'm sorry. I need to mute all the microphones. Because I need that all of you pay attention about this. Page 64, exercise, page 64, exercise 2, conversation. I love sports. Listen and practice. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Okay, what, what can you tell me about? Fácil or no fácil? Más que pronunciación, es la entonación que le dan. Ok, ok. Ok. Sí, pero eso es lo que yo necesito. Por eso les estoy ya poniendo audios así. Para que ya nos vayamos acercando más y vayamos viendo que... Uh, at the moment that we are going to speak with an American, we are going to uh, polish, polish our, our language. Aún y cuando estamos en un nivel básico, pero ya debo de irles mostrando cómo va funcionando esto. A medida avanzamos en nivel, vamos a ir haciendo algunos cambios. 
Ok, hagan una captura, por favor, de esa conversación y la vamos a hacer quizá más adelantito. Solo me la dejan guardadita por ahí. Si ya la tienen. ¿No? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, hagamos algo. Eh, sustituyamos los nombres y podemos usar los nuestros. I need two volunteers who want to be for the conversation. Dos voluntarios que quieran hacer la conversación. Pero ya no vamos a decir Justin. Y puede cambiar. Eh, my favorite is. When, when you talk about sport, you can switch it. Puede cambiarlos. Eh, si, no, si no quiere decir hockey, baseball, and soccer, you can mention another sports. Okay. I need two volunteers who want to be for the conversation. Pero solo, solo activenme el micrófono los dos que van a hacer la conversación, por favor. Acordémonos del sonido ambiente, es necesario poder col colaborar en eso, ¿no? Good night, teacher. Ok, good night. Me. Ok. Lo voy a intentar, teacher. Ok, ok, do it, do it, do it. Do it. <coughs> Uh, con Oliver, ¿verdad? Yes. <laughs> bueno, ok. So, Oliver, what do you in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Uh, my favorite. My favorite is uh, soccer and basketball. Wow, you are really good athletic. When do you play um, this sport? Oh, I don't play the sports. What do you mean, me? I just watch them. On TV. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. I'm going to play again. Lo voy a poner una vez más y tratemos de ponerle atención. Page 64, exercise 2, conversation. I love sports. Listen and practice. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Ok, espero que, que hayamos corregido algunas pronunciaciones ahí. Yes, teacher, yes. Ok, ok. Page 64, exercise. Page six. Niño, niño, ok. Ok, ¿alguien más? ¿Alguien más quiere hacerlo? Pero, pero fíjense que no se enfocaron en lo que les puse. El, el objetivo del vídeo era que se dieran cuenta que también esto lo puedo pronunciar usando una R. Incluso, incluso aquí, en vez de decir I don't play this sport, I don't, I don't play, I don't play this sport. ¿Sí? It's a, yes. Mary, it's a American pronunciation. Así es la pronunciación yes. americana. Okay. Más o menos ahorita le iba a comentar de que en esta ahorita, bueno, cuando la practiqué con Oliver, eh, y luego usted nos, nos puso otra vez, ¿verdad? Nos retroalimentó con el video. Lo que logró captar también uno fue eso que usted acaba de mencionar y que también, como usted nos ha mencionado en ocasiones, que el inglés americano tratan de hacerlo un poco más corto. Sí, pero no tam si... ta ta también tiene mucho que ver uh, la rise and fall in the intonation. Nosotros, el, 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 el español, 
el español, nosotros lo hablamos así, mira, en línea recta. No se entiende cuando es una pregunta. O sea, eh, otra persona de otro país cuando, cuando oye, eh, se queda pensando, bueno. Pero, pero así somos nosotros, pero podemos hacer un cambio, ¿no? Tuve la oportunidad de poder estar eh, en tres países suramericanos y, bueno, eh, me gustó mucho el acento colombiano. Esa gente habla con tanta fluidez. Y, bueno, nosotros eh, podemos ir adaptando eh, nuevas formas, ¿no? Para podernos dar a entender de la, lo, lo más fácil posible. The same happen in English. Uh, we can listen uh, somebody speaking, and suddenly we can hear another person, and we are going to understand better in that way. Okay, the last couple who wants to perform. Okay, Roberto Carlos. Y no sé quién más quiere ayudarle. A Ready. <clears throat> okay, quién quiere ayudarle, por favor. Fátima. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, Roberto, what is what is you doing fine time? Well, I love a sport. Really? What sport do you like? My favorite are basketball, soccer, and running. Wow, you are really good athlete. When did you play? all this sport oh i don't play this sport what do you mean i just watch them on tv okay thank you okay esta palabra athlete 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 es como si fuese un sonido interdental z athlete athlete, athlete. sí así no athlete. no Sí, porque esto no suena aquí al final. Ok. Bueno, tranquilos. Eh, yo sé que estamos, como ya dije, en un nivel, no un nivel básico, pero también quiero ir compartiendo con ustedes uh, algunas formas diferentes de pronunciación para que cuando ya lleguen a la parte intermedia y avanzada van a decir, no, pero no lo vimos así. Acordémonos que esto va evolucionando y así ya van teniendo idea. Ok, let us continue then. Vamos a seguir. Ok, present simple. Uh, WH question structure. Eh, ahí tenemos la estructura. WH where auxiliary do or does. Simple present bear and the question mark. Y tenemos un ejemplo. What sport do you practice? ¿Qué deporte practicas tú? Ahí está la pregunta. Page 65, exercise 3, grammar focus. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Ok, entonces tiene que ver con el tema, porque ahí dice simple present WH question. Ok, any question? ¿Alguna pregunta o quieren oírlo de nuevo? Póngalo de nuevo, teacher. Ok, okay. Yes, listen again. Okay, okay. Page 65, exercise 3, grammar focus. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. 
Okay. Bueno, se pasó automáticamente, no fue. Page 65. Hold on, Page hold, on. hold on, niño, niño, por favor. Okay. Okay, who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Alguien hace la pregunta, alguien hace la respuesta. Podemos usar uh, six people. Seis personas pueden practicar en esto. Okay. What sport do you play? Somebody wants to answer? I play I, hockey, hockey and basketball. basketball. And? Baseball. Okay, baseball, baseball. Okay, next. Why did you play basketball? Why? Mm. Otra ah. vez. Oh. Why did you play baseball? Wait. Ok, ok. ¿Cómo se pronuncia este? How. How. How do you play? J-U. How do you play? How do you play basketball? Who do you play baseball with? Ok, por ahí oí a alguien que sí. Who do you play baseball with? I got it. Ok, creo que sí. Yes. Me, está, me está entendiendo qué es lo que yo quiero enfatizar en lo que les estoy mostrando. Yes. Ok, ok, ok. ¿Por qué yo quiero que del básico ustedes tomen este tipo de pronunciación? Para que cuando ya lleguen al intermedio o el avanzado tengan una pronunciación más americana y que no se nos noten. El, el acento nuestro es neutro. But when we practice in this way, we can improve a lot. Cuando nosotros practicamos de esta manera, nosotros mejoramos. Y al final, cuando, si hablamos con alguien por teléfono, no, no distingue de, de dónde realmente somos. But all depend on, on, on you, okay? Yes. Oh, okay, next. ¿Alguien más? Play. Mm. Okay, go ahead. When do you play? Where? Okay, the answer. I need the answer of the question, the second question. I play? La segunda respuesta, por favor. I play with some friends from work. Okay, with, with. With, with. Esta es una, esta es, esta es una Z, with. Z. Sí, with. Es un, es un sonido Z que traducido ya fonológicamente es un símbolo teta, sí, que okay. hace un sonido teta, with, a sound friend, friend, word. Ok, next one. Where do you play? In the answer? Where do you play? Ok, the answer? Play a Honda Park. Ok, next We're one. How often do you practice? Okay, the answer? We practice one or twice a week. Once or twice a week. Okay, una o dos veces. Esto significa una vez y esto significa dos veces. Eso que se escribe once. Once, sí? once or twice. Or twice a okay. week. Okay, next one. When do you practice? practice. Okay, and the answer? We practice on Sundays. Okay, and the last one? What, what time do you start? What time do you start? And the answer? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, perfecto. Bueno, hagamos una más y luego pasamos a otra cosa. Complete the next chart. Okay, this is a listening. What sport do you like? Okay. Microfonos. Thank you.
Okay, hold on a second. Um, what happened with the listening? Page 66, exercise 4, listening. What sports do you like? Listen to the conversations about sports. Complete the chart. 1. What sports do you like, Casey? You know, I don't like sports very much. So you never play sports? No, I don't. Oh, wait. I do like golf. Oh, really? When do you play golf? In the spring and summer. 2. What do you think of football, John? I like it. Actually, I like lots of sports. Oh, yeah? What sports do you like? Let's see. I like swimming and bike riding and especially baseball. It's my favorite. Baseball's my favorite, too. So when do you play it? Every summer. 3. Do you like soccer, Sue? It's okay. But it's not my favorite. What's your favorite sport? Hmm. I guess my favorite sport is basketball. Really? Where do you play? Oh, I don't play basketball, but a lot of my friends do, and I like to watch them play. 4. Do you play volleyball, Henry? Volleyball? Uh, no. I think it's a little boring. I see. Well, do you like any sports? Oh, sure. My favorite sport is hockey. I love hockey. Now that's an exciting sport. How often do you play? Not very often. About two or three times a year. But I watch it on TV a lot. Okay. Preguntas. Referentes al listen. ¿Será que es complicado para usted? Page 66, exercise 4. Page 66. Es posible que sí. Solo es de ver, eh, de oír, perdón, cuál es el deporte favorito y qué hace, si play o watch. Entendimos la actividad. Yes, yes. teacher. Yes, yes. teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Repeat. Okay. Ah, ah, ¿le gustaría que la repita, le repita el audio? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Ahora, algo importante, el idioma ahí está bien clarito. Para que ustedes puedan oír bien su, su, su pronunciación de cada palabra. Okay. Page 66, exercise 4, listening. What sports do you like? Listen to the conversations about sports. Complete the chart. 1. What sports do you like, Casey? You know, I don't like sports very much. So you never play sports? No, I don't. Oh, wait. I do like golf. Oh, really? When do you play golf? In the spring and summer. 2. What do you think of football, John? I like it. Actually, I like lots of sports. Oh, yeah? What sports do you like? Let's see. I like swimming and bike riding and especially baseball. It's my favorite. Baseball's my favorite, too. So when do you play it? Every summer. Three. Do you like soccer, Sue? It's okay. But it's not my favorite. What's your favorite sport? Hmm. I guess my favorite sport is basketball. Really? Where do you play? Oh, I don't play basketball. But a lot of my friends do. And I like to watch them play. 4. Do you play volleyball, Henry? Volleyball? Uh, no. I think it's a little boring. I see. Well, do you like any sports? Oh, sure. My favorite sport is hockey. I love hockey. Now that's an exciting sport. How often do you play? Not very often. 
about two or three times a year, but I watch it on TV a lot. Okay. Any question? My goodness, what happened here? I need to go back. Okay. Um, what do you think about the listening activities? Do you think it's uh, kind of difficult for you or easy? Tell me. ¿Qué, qué piensan de la actividad de listening? ¿La sintieron difícil o la sintieron fácil? Fácil. Es algo comp comprensiva. Ah, ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Bueno, sí, 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 han, sí han notado, desde hace como dos clases ya he venido como poniéndoles la parte de listening, ¿cierto? Yes. Ok, ¿por qué? Porque ya eh, vamos también trabajando la parte de, eh, bueno, tenemos cuatro macro habilidades y eh, la que nos hemos enfocado al inicio fue speaking. Luego presenté algunos párrafos para comenzar a desarrollar el reading. Ahora estamos con listening y luego veremos cómo hacemos con la parte de writing, que son las cuatro principales. But let me continue with my presentation. Because I have another conversation here. Okay, this is part of our material. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice. Okay. This conversation is between Kevin and Albert. What do you do? What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do, do me a favor? Sure, what is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not sure. What time, what time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, I'm going to read again. Se lo voy a leer una vez más. Está fácil. Tiene mucho que ver con las uh, WH uh, where question. Okay, dice, what do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the, the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Reese has to do that day? I'm not sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, question. Si no tenemos question, nos vamos a la parte práctica con un compañero. Pero ahorita necesito que lo lean una vez más. Por favor. Teacher, why a report about it? Ah, okay, Lisa, I just checks uh, the, the production for the new product and write a report about it. About it. Sí, tiene que re, eh, escribir un reporte acerca de qué? The new product. Eso, eso sustituye el it. About it. Write a report about it. Because I need to. Because... Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? No question. Si ya no hay preguntas, vamos a la parte práctica. Por el tiempo, necesitamos avanzar. Hello. Hola, hola, hola. Hello. Hi, teacher. Do you think that you are ready in order to practice with somebody else or not? ¿Creen que ya pueden practicarlo con alguien o no? Yes, sir. 
What, what about the rest? ¿Y los demás? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, hagan un screenshot, por favor. Ok. One, two, three, four, five, okay. I'm going to stop chatting. And you are going to practice with somebody else. Let me see. Wow. I got only a uh, 17. Let me create it. Bueno, en uno van a quedar tres. Ahí se ayudan. I'll give five minutes is enough to do this. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Oops. Oliver. Yes. Ready. Excuse me. Vamos. Entremos a la al 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 Excuse me. a la sala, por favor, Edwin. Aquí soy, teacher. No. Solo el grupo. No se ha unido. Por ahí le llegó la invitación. And write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me mop some boxers. Can you do me a fiber? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that date? I'm not sure. What time does he finish to work on Tuesday? Or when does he have free time? Very good. What do you have to do on Saturdays? I just checked the production for the new product and why a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Evelyn? No practico con usted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can do it if you want. Okay. Permítame, lo voy a hacer, lo voy a compartir, por favor. Ok, ¿lo puede ver ahí? Sí. Sí, teacher, yes. Oh, ok, I'm going to be Kevin and you are going to be Albert. Okay, Kevin. Okay, yo soy Kevin, usted sabe. Okay, what do you have to do on Thursday? Okay, I just checked the production for the new product and really I report about the week. Okay, aquí. Uh -huh. Donde dice write, 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 write a report 
write a report about it. About it. About it. About it. Why? Why? About it. Why? Okay. 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 Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I am I am not I am not so sure. Okay, aquí es aquí está contractada, entonces aquí va a decir I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, what time does he finish to work on Thursday? Okay, termino. <laughs> sí, o, o when does he have free time? En el tiempo del breakout room creo que ya se terminó. Okay, vamos a hacer para acá. Okay, okay, ahí estamos de regreso. Bueno, estuvimos practicando con Evelyn porque no pudo hacerlo dentro de la sesión. Alguien me la dejó sola por ahí. Ajá. Ok. Who wants to practice? ¿Quién, quién quiere hacer la conversación? Hola, hola, hola. Listo, teacher. Listo, teacher, con Katy. Ok, ok. Do it. Lista, Katy. Yes. Ok, I am Kevin. What do you do? What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? Alguien más quiere? Sí. Come on, you need to practice. You need to practice. If you don't do it, you are not going to improve. As simple as that. If you want to to uh, to be good in a, in a sport, you, what you need to do is practice about it. But, but now you ask watching. You need to do it. Okay, go ahead. Evelyn, Yesenia. Eh, con mi nueva Abraham me toca. Ay, prefiero la pantalla. Okay, okay. Solo, solo permite que no tengo la pantalla en frente. <laughs> okay. Se le perdió la pantalla. Se me perdió la pantalla. No me la puedo poner, teacher. Ahorita se la buscamos. Ya, gracias, por favor. Espero que no se le ande perdiendo. Sí. <risa> ya, yeah. thank you, teacher. I am Kevin. What do you have to do on Tuesday? I just checked the production for the new product and write a report about its will with because I need someone to help my movie some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz how to how to you do that day? I am not so sure. What time does uh, he finish to work on the Tuesday? Or when does he have free time? 
Ok, no sé si oí mal, pero, pero me parece como que me están confundiendo. Es Thursday con Tuesday. Yes. Thursday, Thursday. No, Thursday. Por, por favor, no se me confundan. No, no quiero que lleguen al siguiente módulo y van en no. Así lo dijo el teacher, así lo dijo el teacher. <ríe> ok, es una corrección simple, pero les va a ayudar. Y lo hago con todo amor para que cuando ya lleguen al siguiente, ya, ya vayan con, con, con la pronunciación correcta, ¿cierto? Sí, thank you, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Okay, somebody else wants to do it or not? Let me see the time that I have. Okay. Okay, quienes ya participaron, por favor, cierran su micrófono y solo abren los que van a participar, por favor. Cesar, Cesar. Cesar, are you there? I'm, re I'm ready. What, what do you do? What do you have to do on Thursday? I just set the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some box. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What? What? What is about? What does Mr. Ruiz how to do that day? I'm not too sure. What time does he finish to work on Tuesday? Or when does he have free time? Okay. El oído de, 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 de qué? Aquí no me pronunció el ES. Solo me dijo son box. Y tengo ES aquí. Boxes. Por Boxes. favor, por favor, por favor. Por favor. Okay, thank you very much. I need, I need to move forward. Me necesito mover a la siguiente. Okay, pay word. Read the conversation in and circle the correct word in bold. Then answer the questions. Okay, la instrucción dice que lea la conversación otra vez. Encierre en círculo una de las palabras que está en negrilla. En este caso, por ejemplo, usted va a decidir si es do o estás. En todas, va a decidir si es do o estás. ¿Será correcto decir what do Albert had to do on Thursday o what does Albert had to do on Thursday? Ok, háganlo en forma individual, por favor. Individual.
Ok, little result now. Resolvamos. <coughs> Resolvamos, por favor. Number one. Solo me la leen ya uh, incluyendo la palabra correcta, por favor. What does What Albert, does Albert, Albert, Albert do on Albert Thursday? Thursday? Okay, thank you. Number two. Why does Ellie need help? Okay, number three. Who do? Who do you think is going to help Kevin? Ah, okay, perfect. And number four. What does? Continue, continue, continue. What does Mr. Ruiz do on Tuesday? Okay. Bueno, la respuesta la podemos hacer luego. I'm sorry, I need to move to the next activity. Uh, esto ya lo expliqué en la presentación, pero lo vuelvo a hacer. Dice, how do you, uh, how to use info present information question. Ahí tengo lo que son las information question. What does she do on ter, uh, Saturday and Sunday? Y la respuesta, she, she visits other companies and has meetings. Where does he go on Tuesday afternoon? He goes to the company's headquarters. Which department does our boss supervise? Our boss supervises the marketing department. What time does Miguel start to work? Miguel start to work at nine o'clock. Okay, entonces si usted observa, como lo dije ayer, eh, comenzamos con la WH, que es la palabra que me sirve para hacer preguntas. Luego, dependiendo del pronombre, yo voy a hacer uso de el auxiliar, que ya pueda ser do o puede ser das. En este caso es das porque estoy hablando de ella, estoy hablando de él. No, nos hemos enfocado en esto, que es como la parte más medular, ¿no? Ok, let me see the time. I got four minutes. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta hasta acá. Eh, podría yo responderle lo que usted tenga de inquietud. ¿No? That, that means that everything is clear, right? Ok. Ok, y esta parte sí creo que les voy a ayudar aquí porque es la que les aparece parecida en la plataforma y es a la que algunos la vez anterior pues tuvieron algunos problemas. Creo que hoy ya se superaron. Create question with the words provided. Usted lo que va a hacer es ordenar para hacer preguntas. Ok, intentémoslo por favor.
Okay, let us finish. Number one, only one, only one. Tell me. Teacher, in the first question, uh, why uh, do you uh, cry we? Yes, why do, uh, does he? Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Because of the, the, the personal pronoun. Let me, let me raise, okay. Yeah, I, I, I got a mistake there. I'm going to write it down again. Does. Why does, does I, he? Does he have a meeting? Okay. I start. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, number four, you can tell me a number number 32. Okay, I already gave you two examples. The number one, why does he have a meeting? And, and, and number two is where, not yeah. where. Where is, okay, okay, okay. Eso es producto del typing. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Por hacer las cosas así in a hurry, you know. Don't worry, don't worry. Sí, pero, sí, pero vamos a corregir porque al, alguien puede creer que es así. Yes. Where does she process, process the payment? The payment. The payment, okay. No, sí. Y hacemos el question mark ahí. Yes. Okay, ahí estamos. A esta también nos hizo falta el question mark. Ok. What about number three? What does what Ingrid does do on Wednesday? Ok. What does Ingrid do on Wednesday? Wednesday. 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 Ok. And number four? When to? When to? Ok. What does when do será do or será das? Do. Okay, I'm, go I'm going to give you a hand. Okay, aquí es singular, entonces va a decir. Confused. Que, sí, es kind of tricky, pero ojo, esta palabra está singular. Entonces, en, sí, entonces la pregunta sería: when does an employee que no aparece aquí el, el determinante del artículo. When does an employee acquire the raw material? ¿Sí? No, 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 no. Sí, sé que, pero no entiendo. ¿Por qué das? ¿Se refiere a un empleado, a él o, o, o cómo? Ok, se le When does. When does an... Ahí se refiere a uno. Por eso. When does an employee, por eso estoy poniendo aquí. When does an employee acquire the raw material? It's like he. Sí, porque aquí no tiene plural, aquí no dice employees, entonces significa que es singular. ¿Se refiere a él o a ella, puede ser? Sí, se refiere a un empleado. Por eso uso das y uso an. An porque comienza con vocal, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. 
Bueno, I got it. Okay. Por, ahí, por ahí se las dejo bueno. Les he robado un par de minutitos. I'm sorry. Bueno, ¿hicieron un screenshot? Yes. Ok, ahí la comparten. Por favor, lo siento. Bueno, les tomé un, minuto, un par de minutitos más. Voy a la asistencia. Era necesario aclarar eso porque eh, eso, eso, esos ejercicios parecidos a esos son los que le vienen a ustedes en la plataforma. Entonces, ok, al sí es, al sí es de Roberto. Present teacher. Ok, a uh, Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. César Vladimir. Present. Edwin Napoleón. Present teacher. Evelyn, 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 Evelyn Yamilet. Present teacher. Evelyn Yesenia. Present teacher. Fátima Beatriz. Present teacher. Germán. Present teacher. Guillermo Alexis. Guillermo Alexis. No. Héctor no se presenta. Jennifer de la Cruz. Present teacher. Ok. Jorge Alberto. Present. Katy. Present. Luis. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Noé Abraham. Present teacher. Don Oliver. Present. René Alexander. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. William Boris. Present teacher. Ok, tenemos la clase número 12. Les corresponden los 10 minutos de tutoría Jorge Alberto Gallegos. Espero verlo al final de la sesión. Thank you very much. Um, remember, if you have any question about this topic, you can send me a, a message and I can give you a hand in order to clarify some doubt before you go to the platform and resolve the exercises. Si tienen alguna duda referente a este tema, por favor, eh, no duden en enviarme un mensajito y eh, yo aparto siempre un par de minutos para poderles auxiliar y aclararles todas sus dudas. El objetivo es ayudarles, así es que por favor permítanme ayudarles. Para eso estoy. Ok, thank you thank very you. much. Ok, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, Don Jorge Gallegos. Okay, teacher. I don't, I don't know if you have any question about any topic that we have started. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta referente a algún tema que ya estudiamos. Eh, no, teacher. Solo okay. quizás, eh, quizás una observación. Okay, perfecto. Eh, Adelante. Dice que siento un poco, quizás dificulto, eh, dificultoso un poco la, la forma, porque eh, quizás no tanto con la pronunciación, porque sí. Eh, siento que vamos bien, pero muchas veces eh, empezamos quizás a decir o leer algunas oraciones, pero como no vamos viendo la traducción, muchas veces ni siquiera sé qué estoy diciendo en algunas palabras. Ok, ok. Eh, a veces yo me pongo a buscar la, la palabra, a traducirla en, en Google, sí. pero ella ya me atraso con lo otro que ya como que pierde el hilo, además que usted va, va dando. Entonces no sé qué me sugeriría usted para poder como ir entendiéndolo a la vez qué es lo que se está diciendo en español y okay. decirlo bien en inglés. Ok, eh, cuando eso suceda, lo que podemos hacer es que eh, usted solo levanta su mano y, y me hace la pregunta, yo con gusto le ayudo. Okay. En, el, en el momento, para, para poner, poderle dar una idea así rápida, para que no se nos quede, porque el objetivo es que todos vayamos juntos, pero... Eh, son muy valiosas las observaciones. Ah, porque eh, eh, yo estuve antes, estuve usando bastante eh, Duolingo. Sí, sí. Y quizá creo que me mal acostumbré a la forma de Duolingo que va por ratos haciéndole preguntas en español, pasándolas en inglés. Sí. Y de repente le pone en inglés y uno las tiene que traducir, vea. Sí, correcto. Comprendo. Sí, el objetivo no, con nosotros es el siguiente, le explico. Eh, bueno, nosotros vamos eh, de menor a mayor. Si usted observa, eh, cada clase vamos aumentando un poco más el porcentaje de, de, de inglés. Y es precisamente para que su oído se vaya adaptando a la parte de listening. 
Claro, eh, no se va a entender al 100% porque el vocabulario todavía no se tiene completo. En el momento es muy difícil el ir traduciendo todo. Al inicio, eh, lógico, es necesario hacerlo para entender qué es lo que se está hablando, ¿no? Pero en algún momento que tenga dificultad y para no quedarse, eh, bueno, háganos ahí, ¿cómo se llama? Alguna, alguna eh, señal de, o nos pregunta directamente para poder ayudarlo. Para que, okay. para, para que avancemos y, y así pues se va motivando siempre, no, no se me va quedando ahí. Okay. Pero, pero sí le, le gustaron las actividades de ahora, hicimos de listening. Eh, le busqué eh, una parte que, que fuera bastante clara y que pudieran oír exactamente ya como un americano lo hace. Sí, sí. Sí, a eh, la diferencia de la de ayer creo que fue. Sí. La de ayer sí casi no logré entender muchas palabras. En la ah, de ahora sí entendí un sí, poco más. Eh, era la parte de listen de, de, la, de, de ayer, ¿cierto? Ajá. Sí, eh, existen algunas diferencias. Y, y, y a veces también depende de los temas. Pero okay. po poco a poco vamos a ir avanzando. Y al inicio eso es como natural que siempre vamos haciendo la traducción, pero al final vamos a ir comprendiendo de que ya el cerebro llega a un momento que ya no traduce, ya tiene todo el, 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 el cúmulo de palabras y como ya sé el significado, entonces puede rápido. Pero, Casi pero, como claro. que fuera la par haciéndola. Sí, pero claro, es un proceso, es un proceso, yo lo entiendo. <coughs> pero por eso yo trato de, de ir eh, como pausado para que todos vayamos iguales. No, no voy corriendo con dos o tres que ya tienen más habilidades, sino que siempre voy incluyéndolos a todos. Uh -huh. Así es que tranquilo, vamos a ayudarle en esa parte para que no pierda la motivación. Ok. Ok, perfecto. Ok, I hope to see you in the next class. Ok. Ok, good night, bye bye. Good night, teacher.